Hi, Kelly Ackright here and welcome to Wellness Wednesday where you have the questions and I have the answers. So let's get going. I wanted to tell you about a phone call that I had the other day and it was from the wife of a new client and she had called to say to me that after his appointment with me, her husband went home and was telling her that I had mentioned that bloating and farting and burping are not natural. And so the wife called me up and she was like, my husband said that that's just not natural. And if that's not natural and indicates a problem, then I'm pretty sure that I need to come and see you. And she did. And I thought that this week it would be really important for me to tell you how your digestive system should work so that you can recognize if you too have some issues that need to be addressed. Now, first of all, <laughs> bloating and farting and burping are all signs that the food that you have eaten has not been digested and actually is beginning to rot and putrefy in your digestive tract. So just think about it logically. If it was 98.6 degrees in your house and you left all of the food from the refrigerator out on the counter for a day or two or three, what would happen? it would begin to rot and putrefy, right? It would stink, it would probably start to grow mold, it might begin to attract roaches or other kinds of bugs and parasites. That's exactly what happens in your body when the food does not get digested and broken all the way down into nutrients. So, the three different food groups that the body needs and has to ingest are carbohydrates, right? Our fruits, our vegetables, grains, our proteins, which comes from animal protein as well as from plant protein, and our fats, which we get our good fats from plant sources like nuts and coconut and avocado and olives and olive oil and things like that, okay? So the way that digestion works is Digestion begins in the mouth, okay? So there's little glands under here, salivary glands, that release tylen. And tylen is actually what is used to break, begin the process of digestion on carbohydrates. So when you put bread or grains or any kind of carbohydrates into the mouth, that is where they begin to digest. That's why it's so important that you chew your food appropriately. It's not so much about the chewing, a little bit about the chewing, as much as it is about the mixing the food with the tylen, the sal you know, the salvation no, the salivary glands releasement in the mouth, in the spit, right? In the saliva, there's all these great things that are breaking those carbs down for you. Now, my guess is probably 90% of the people who are gluten intolerant are also super fast eaters. Their food does not spend any time in their mouth mixing with the you know, with the saliva, and instead they chew the food probably just about as good as they can, you know, as much as they can and still swallow it without gagging, and then they follow it with a big glass of water or tea or whatever, soda. So, digestion begins in the mouth. This is where our carbohydrates break down. Then the food goes down into the stomach, and the stomach is filled with hydrochloric acid hopefully, right? Hydrochloric acid is what breaks down protein, particularly animal protein. If we were to take hydrochloric acid and pour it over my hand, my hand would disintegrate the flesh, the tissue, even the bones, okay? Hydrochloric acid has a pH of like 2.8 to about 3.2. It is 
acid, right? It is meant to be able to break that animal protein all the way down into nutrients, all the way down into amino acids. The body can uptake and utilize the amino acids. The brain uses them to help produce neurotransmitters so that our brain plugs in and works right, okay? So, if you don't have enough hydrochloric acid in your stomach, you can't break down protein effectively. An undigested protein in the blood actually looks like little shards of glass, which that's a whole nother issue that we'll talk about on another day. Now, fats get broken down in the first little part of the um, small intestine, okay? And in there, there is a little, um, the gallbladder holds um, different bile salts, and bile salts are what actually breaks down fats effectively. Think of bile salts almost like, almost like Dawn dishwashing detergent, how if you have a sink full of like greasy dishes and you put a little bit of the Dawn soap, how all of those little fat blobs break into little teeny tiny things, right? And you can barely see them anymore. That's what bile salts do. They break down the big fat insoluble fats into teeny tiny essential fatty acids that the cells need to heal and repair and live happy, healthy, long lives. So how I can tell you if your body is headed towards, di is headed towards distress in area, any area is basically by reading your irises. Um, many of you probably already know this. I have been a practicing herbalist and iridologist for over 15 years now. But in iridology, the entire body maps out on the iris of the eye. And by reading the different colorings and demarcations in the iris, I can tell you if your stomach is having issues or if your gallbladder is having issues or if there's a problem even with the salivary glands. Very, very easy to see. And how you would know for yourself if you have an issue that needs some looking into is A, if you have bloating and farting and burping, oh my, that is a sign that something's wrong. Also, if you're not pooping at least once a day, for every train in, there should actually be a train out. So if you're eating two to three meals a day, you should actually be having two to three poops a day. If you're not, there's a problem. If you go to your medical doctor and you tell your medical doctor, hey, I only poop like once every three or four days, and he tells you that that's normal, you need to fire that doctor and find somebody else who remembers what they learned in anatomy and physiology class, okay? So... And the third sign that there's an issue going on with your digestive um, tract is when you eat, you should feel energized, like, yay, I just got some food in and now I'm ready to go make things happen in my life. But most people feel like, oh my God, that was delicious. I could take a little nap. If that's you you probably need to come see me for a natural health consult. So, if you can't get to see me, but you have a camera that you can get a good picture of your eyes where I can actually see the fibers of your eyes, you can always email me the pictures of your eyes. I can help you by doing a long distance session with you or just book a session if you live in the area and come see me and let me help you. There's no reason for you to be aging <laughs> at a faster rate than you have to. And I tell you what, when our digestive tracts go down, that is the fastest way to age. So do yourself a favor and come in and see me. Send me a picture of your irises or find a different naturopath in your area that can help you figure out how to bring your body back to health. And this week, 
become mindful of what you're actually putting in your body and how your body responds to it. Some things your body eats, it digests and it loves it. You'll feel energized and alive. And some things your body will eat and it feels really tired and cranky and yucky. That's a sign that that food's not good for you. So start paying attention to what your body loves and what your body doesn't really want any more of and start honoring what your body is telling you. All right, well, have an amazing week. Thanks so much for listening in. If you found it helpful, please like and share it with your friends. You never know who could use a little help. And you have a great week. Thanks so much. Love you guys. See you soon.